Hello, this is Chuck, and to this session of Nancy Drew's Shadows at the Water's Edge, we have reached the Expo Center. And we are going to be talking to Yumi, the elder sister of a Miwako, but first, let's take a look at these cats. So this, yeah, this is the cat that they, uh, Miwakos. <laughs> Uh, okay. Much too means by that. Does that just say bento? Oh, it says open. Never mind. All right. Before I'm just checking. Hi, it out. is your name Yumi? Absolutely not. Who's asking? It might be. Are you going to order? What's your agenda here, stranger? I'm Nancy Drew. Mm, nope. Never heard of you. But thank you for saying your name out loud. Oh wait, Nancy Drew? As in friends with Bess and George and staying at the Ryokan, Nancy Drew? Or are there two of you? Which one is it? That's me. The friends with Bess and George. Excellent. Yes, perfect. Get over here. Come on. You're learning to make bento the Yumi way. Come on, trust me, it's a life skill. Once you know how to make a good bento box, you pretty much got the whole world all figured out. But I don't know how to make bento. You'll figure it out. Or maybe you won't. Well, I guess we'll see. Here are the ingredients. You may notice that they run the gamut from pretty cute to insanely adorable. This is not an accident. Okay, very easy. The customers will give you a list of what they want and how they want it organized, and you pack it together. You won't believe how easy it is. Okay, I gotta go. Going? Where are you going? The store. Good luck. You'll do fine. I'll be back soon. <laughs> Wait. I guess I'd better get to work. I like how the voice actor had just had to put on this fake. I'll be back soon. Uh, I would thought they could do it in uh, post editing, but I guess not. So, yeah, obviously, just to explain this more, if anyone who's watching doesn't know. So basically, this is the shape of the bento box, and what you got is you got three animals, and each animal has its own sandwich, rice, and egg. And here is the the list, or the pictogram of how a customer wants it because they're very picky. So you want to usually start with the biggest, the one that shows the most, uh, shows the full ben the fen full bento box, if they got it, and start off with what's actually clear. So this it's a pig and a sandwich. So we grab pig sandwich, put it in that spot. Pig rice wants to go here and rabbit rice needs to go in that corner. Now in these sections, they, it'll specify an animal or the food, but it won't tell you which one is which. So... I think the best place... This one, obviously, can only fit in this corner, because while you have the pig here... Oh, hmm, it also could fit in this corner. Damn it! <laughs> Okay, actually start with this one, because this clearly shows the rabbit, and since there's a pig already here, and the rabbit a can't fit here, this one has, this strip has to go in this column. So, we don't know which cat yet, and we have three left, so we're going to leave that be for now. Um, we can fill in this, because that's the only pig left. And this is the only rabbit left. So that leaves us with here. Okay, so I was right by happenstance. So this corner is for here. So you got sandwich cat, you got egg cat, and then you got rice cat. Hey, I did it! It was pretty cute. Thanks for helping out, Nancy. Let's go down. Could you tell me a little bit about the Ryokan? I'm not into that sort of thing. Couldn't you find a pamphlet? I was hoping for an insider's op- Oh, I get it. You want the dirt on the situation, right? Yes, exactly. Interesting. You're working some kind of anger here, aren't you? Not that it matters. Still way too busy to talk. I know you're busy, but I helped you out with Bento, and all I want is a little information. Okay. 
Surrounded by breathtaking views you'll not soon forget, the Ryoka Hie opens the door to a simpler time. Perfect for the business traveler hoping to experience traditional Japan, or the family in search of that perfect vacation, Ryoka Hie, discover Japan, discover you. That's persuasive, but not exactly what I wanted to know. Isn't it? That's mine from years back. I was thinking of going into advertising, but then I thought, nah. I was hoping you could tell me a little about some of the strange things that have been hap- Aha! If you really want to know- Oh no! I'm running out of bento boxes! Can you please go grab my backup stock from my apartment? This is the sort of thing that can move us from buddies to straight up besties. Sure. Great! It's just over by the Kurume station. I could tell right away that we were going to be friends. Here's my key. I've been so used. Oh, and P.S. My number is 075-021-5855. Your grandmother seems a little hesitant to talk to me. That's the shocker of the decade. She's hesitant to talk to herself. <laughs> what do you think of Rentaro? Other than that he should get a job at the Nerd Statue Factory as their primary model? He's a good time. What do you think of Rentaro? Uh, I'm gonna be nice here. He seems nice. He's a bit of a pest. Nice works if you want to be polite, but come on, this isn't the Ryokan. You can say what you mean. That is what I meant. Okay, if you say so. <laughs> Clear signs of disbelief. What does Takai think of you working here? It's a phase. Aro snap out of it. Like I've been hypnotized and one day someone says the right word and snaps their fingers and Aro go, Hero, I am Yumi. One job running Ryokan, please. She's old school like that. Thinks the fun parts of life are a phase, and the nasty parts are the bees and knees. I met your sister, Miwako. You two seem pretty close. That doesn't sound like the impression you'd get by having a chat with Miwako. What are you trying to ask? Miwako seemed a little upset about the Ryokan. Do you know anything about that? That's more her area of expertise. I've never been the go-to girl for the Ryoka. That place is the definition of repetitive. Guests come in, guests come out. It's brain-breakingly tedious. I don't know how Miwako puts up with it. Wouldn't a job at a bento place be a bit tedious? Hmm. Oh well. Whatever floats your boat, ma'am. Does Miwako like working at the Ryokan? Well, uh, yeah. Why else would she be there day in and day out? What that Gura needs is to spend some time out here. A few weeks with me and my friends would be enough to shake her up and get her to have some fun for once. So you don't want to take over the Ryokan? Not even for a second. I mean, I don't even get the whole tradition thing. You want to go to the past? Get a time machine. I'm not one for living in the past. Have you ever read a history book? The past is where we keep all of the terrible things that have happened. I don't understand. If you're the one who's supposed to take over the Ryokan, why is Miwako the one working there? Ugh, Nancy-chan. Don't get all everyone else on me here. If I had known I was supposed to run that place when I grew up, I would have taken a pass on the whole firstborn thing. Trust me. If Miwako left the Ryokan, who would run it? I don't know. It doesn't matter. Why do you care so much about it anyway? I'm just sort of naturally curious. I'd back burner that curiosity as long as you're staying at the Ryokan if I were you. What do you mean? Try not to find out, okay, Nancy? You seem nice. Alright, so we're gonna head off to uh, Kurome, I believe. Is that? No, not Kurome. Let's see, where is that? Oh, it is Kurome. Okay, so I've always had trouble with this uh, train diagram, but I eventually figured it out. So basically, it's not really where the lines intersect so much as where the wherever colored circle is on the stop is with what train goes there. So this obviously goes to Iga, this goes to Fuji, Asahi, well that's not the best example. For example, where's a good example? Like here, so despite the fact that the pink line intersects with the Sata Sai Saitama, it doesn't stop at Hak Hakun. It doesn't stop at the 
the pink line doesn't stop here. Only where it's circled. Alright, so we're going to Iga. Fuji, Seto, Kofu, and then Kurume. Did I screw up already? Damn it. Oh yeah. Nigata. And we have arrived! So... Oh, and this would be the... What, what are they called? I know it's kind of these photo booths and then you can add the cute little things. For the life of me, I can't remember the name. I'm assuming that's George and this is Bess. And let's use the key to get inside. And... So we're here for These the must bento. Be what Yumi was talking about. We're here for the bento boxes, but being Nancy Drew, we're gonna snoop around like detectives would. See the It's a lot of pink. Phrase book. That's always nice, despite the fact that it says die, but more the color changing process, but still. Let's see. Make your own shadow puppets. Shadow puppets have been entertaining audiences for millennia. With only a light source, a 2D cutout puppet, and a screen on which to project the shadow, the puppeteer brings to life whole stories told in silhouette. The performance art is believed to have originated in China during the Han Dynasty to console the emperor, who had recently lost a beloved lady. When he saw her image represented in the shadow figures, he was able to overcome his grief. While traditional shadow puppets were made of leather with rods of wood or bone, you can make your own shadow puppets with more basic materials. You'll need heavy paper or cardboard, scissors, hole punch, paper fasteners, wooden rods or plastic straws, and tape. And the next page basically goes on how to create your own shadow puppet. Am I, am I going to have to create a shadow puppet? Oh. We'll see you later. Um, this looks like a CD, DVD player, so let's put it in. What was that? I don't know, just because of Japan, it makes me, because of the ghost girl, makes me think of the ring. At the same time, I can't help but think of the, if anyone's seen the movie Poltergeist. It's fairly old. Uh, this is not something I could solve now. Oh. Dear Marianne, as usual, these letters are piling up and I haven't made it to the post office. It was great seeing you during your visit. Hurry back soon. I know I promised to make my way over to the States, but life always has other plans. The girls are keeping me busy, and the real con is double booked as usual. Yumi wanted me to tell you that she had a nice time during your visit, although it would be hard to tell with her pouting for the cheap seats the whole time. She and Mawako have been at each other's throats lately. It's ugly. I hope it's a phase, but I'm beginning to worry that it might not be. Casey and Ben are such good friends. I wish I knew your secret. They're so different, you know? They remind me of you as you and me when we were kids. You were always so serious, and I was always doing my best to get you in trouble. I think that's what made us such good friends. But for the two of them, it's always a battle. Enough of that. Send my love to the family. I can't wait to see you soon again. To see you again. So, so 
so so Kasumi. And so it's a letter from the mother. Or leather by the mother to someone else. Okay, so I don't think. Ah, oh, goodness. I think that's it. This one you can't look out at anything, so. Ooh, ooh, wait. You can see this. Unveiling Ghost Paranormal Investigations from Around the World by Savannah Wood. To the Shi Shimizu family, your hospitality during this difficult time has been immeasurable. Thank you for allowing me into your home and your lives. If you ever find yourselves in the state of Georgia, you've got a place to stay. Sincerely, Savannah H. Woodham. Unveiling Ghost Paranormal Investigations Around the World. Savannah Woodham. That's oh. the author of this book. I should hang on to this. Having her phone number might come in handy. Okay, my bad, Woodham. Um, the real con here. We'll it looks like someone there. tore out one of the chapters. Damn it. Okay. Well, probably gonna have to find those missing chapters later. Alright, so I think that's it. So let's head back to the expo center and uh, have a chat with Yumi again. So, I remember the first time I was on this train system because I couldn't figure, I wasn't being observant and so I wasn't really looking at how it designated stops. Um, yeah, I got lost. <laughs> it probably took me half an hour just to get from one place to another, which is ridiculous. Okay, last stop. Oh. Interesting. This looks important. I better hang on to it. Congratulations on purchasing your new puzzle box, Japanese puzzle box. Puzzle boxes have been bewildering buyers since the late Edo period over 100 years ago. These beautifully crafted boxes are both a joy to look at and a challenge to solve, traditionally requiring 4 to, si to 66 moves before the lid can be removed. To open, pieces of the box are slid in a specific sequence, unlocking hidden cat catches? Is that supposed to be caches? I don't think that's how you spell caches. Oh well, I'll just say caches after correct moves. Once the sequence is complete, the lid will open, revealing the hidden compartment within. Alright, let's have a chat with Yumi. Nancy! And you've got my boxes. Neat! So Here, I've got a thing for you. It's a phone charm. You can't not have one. Oh, no. Onigiri, I think it's called. Thanks. I'm probably wrong. What's it do? Come to think of it, it doesn't really do anything. Get a job, phone charm. It probably won't. That's okay, just hang it on your phone. I've got tons. Help me with bento, and I'll hook you up with some super cute ones. Um... I think I will try to get the other phone charms, but I'm not gonna make you go through the bento thing again, so... Let's, uh... Ease her Your up Your outfit bit. is very... interesting. <laughs> Where did you get it? Get it? Oh, you cannot get something this cool in a store. I made it. You make your own clothes? Yeah, I got sick of waiting for the boutiques to catch up to me. The places I go around here, fashion is the business. You don't show up looking out of date. Oh, I've got the best thing. You gotta have it. I use it to come up with all of my new ideas. Oh, what's that? It's a program for your phone. You upload pictures to the computer and send them to your phone. It lets you test out a new look on you or your friends. It's back at my place on the computer. Sounds great. I don't usually have time to keep up with the latest fashion trends. I could sort of tell, but I wasn't sure if you were going for an irony thing with your outfit. Hey! Just teasing. You pull off the old school thing, Nancy Drew. Some things don't go out of style. If you help me out with a little more bento right now, I'll hook you up with the program. Come on. Never mind, we're doing the bento again. Okay. It was taken out of my hands. <laughs> okay. Bear rice goes there. And yeah, it's obviously it gets more difficult as you go along. So this I'm going to assume is the top half. So 
Possibly. This isn't a sandwich. Okay, bear rice. You have two eggs, a pig, and a bear right there. So this, obviously, since the bear rice is already here, the two bunnies are going to have to be here. So egg bunny goes there, and pig rice goes up there. And this one will have to leave for now. Um, the only slots are the two sandwiches. Oh, okay. So sandwich bunny can go here. Alright then. So we have another egg item here. But we can't know anything about that yet. We have a pig bear. So a pig item here and a sandwich will have to be here so bear sandwich goes over here. We don't know about the pig yet. So this is done. We have one sandwich left and so we, we complete that. We don't have, haven't finished that off yet. This under assumption that that's that. Pig, so bunny can go here and egg can All go right. here. Alright, who's next? Step right up. Great job. Here you go, Nancy. Okay. Um, alright then. I watched that DVD at your place. It was very strange. You did what? Shouldn't I have? Oh no, I'm sorry, Yumi. I'm sure it'll be fine. Just be very cautious. What do you mean? You have to be cautious about everything here, Nancy. I like how she asked Shirin and I have, because, you know, she said you can go pick up the bento, but snooping's a whole different other story. Why do you have a book on shadow puppets? Oh, that's Miwako's. It shouldn't be in my apartment. It's just a stupid book about puppets. It's just another one of the things that my grandmother is trying to always push on us. Could you use something like this to make spooky shadows from far away? Say, a balcony? Yeah, I guess. Love that last picture you sent. I know, isn't that one great? Love that last picture of you and Bess. Thanks. Um... I found Savannah's ghost book in your apartment. Can you tell me more about that? She's some sort of ghost hunter or something. I don't know much about it, okay? But she did a chapter on the Ryokan. Yeah, well, just because my grandmother believes in that junk doesn't mean I do. Um... I love the picture of George. I know, isn't that one great? Yeah, I'm just keep plying her with compliments here. I really like your apartment. You do? Thanks! It's just a 1K. That's code around here for tiny and overpriced, but the location is great and it's mine. I love it. When did you move out of the Ryokan? The second I was old enough to sign a lease. Best decision I've ever made. No late night room service. No annoying tourists calling up at four in the morning. I adore that apartment. I wonder if it knows. Yeah, that... I'm going to get it something nice today. A new doormat or something. That sounds real repetitive. <laughs> 4 a.m. wake up calls. My god. A curse for that. I would probably leave too. Um, Can you tell me a little bit about what happened with your mother? This is not the time or the place. Is there a better time? Maybe when you're not at work? <sighs> There's never going to be a time or place. Just drop it. Yeah, I like making Nancy a bit insensitive. Alright then. So I think we're done there. So, what should we do now? I think what I'm going to do is head back to the Ryokan and let's, let's uh, do some late night snooping. Don't have time for that this episode, but can't get to... Okay. Seto and Tochigi. Okay, so Fuji, Niigata, Seto, Tochigi. So, traveling up. 
and then two, three. I went the completely wrong direction. Whoops, whoops, nope, 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 go back. Ah, we got her. Actually, I know for me, when I personally go traveling, <laughs> I wouldn't really allow myself to get a bit paranoid, I guess. So I would study a train map to a little bit of detail. Because traveling back and forth, not so much fun. Nagoya. And Misawa! We're back! And it's 8.46. Oh, phone call. More pictures? Oh. What a lovely, pretty picture. Sent. Okay. Hello. Uh, do you want to manage the Ryukon? Right now I have to, but it's not that simple. Why not? It just isn't. Let's go. I'm not sure. I think we already talked to the grandmother, but I'm just gonna have a check. Hello, Nancy san. Why doesn't Yumi want to work here? She will. She is just like her mother at that age. She listens to no one, not even herself. Why can't Miwako just take over the Ryukon? You do not understand. That is not how it works. But she's here now. It is not what Kasumi wants. What do you mean, wants? Nancy-san, I'm sorry. But I am very tired. I should rest. <sighs> Imagine, I guess, being a detective, the most hard people to deal with is those that don't want to talk to you. Um, okay, so I'm gonna try for some late night snooping in the next set so i guess it'll probably up in a few hours or so so see you then guys